First, we're learning more about a fiery wreck at Disney World involving a bus and an SUV going the wrong way. 11 people went to the hospital, and troopers just told us they think the SUV driver fell asleep and crossed into oncoming traffic. Good evening to you. I'm Eric Von Aken. Glad you're with us on this Sunday. The flames and smoke yesterday afternoon caused chaos, as you can see near Animal Kingdom is where this happened, right at the bend of a small street called Sherberth Road. New 6's Troy Campbell is there with an update tonight. The fiery crash happened just behind me yesterday evening. A Disney employee tells me that most of the 16 people on board the bus are OK this evening, but just still shaken up after their bus caught on fire. Take a look at this video. It was taken by a witness who was leaving Animal Kingdom yesterday. That bus is owned by Super Transportation of Florida, and it had 16 people on board. Several were students with Disney University's work study program. That's according to a Disney employee. Eight people on board the bus were taken to the hospital. Now, 36 year old Megan Hester Villa Lobos. She was driving her SUV in the wrong lane, hitting the bus head on. The driver, her passenger, and a child in the SUV were all taken to the hospital. Several Disney employees say that stretch of roadway is dangerous, saying they've seen several near miss accidents because of the curves on the street. Now, we're still working to find out more about that wrong way driver. Also, a Disney employee tells me that one of the people on the bus has been released from the hospital, but we're still waiting to hear from FHP about the condition of the 10 others who were transported. Outside Disney, Troy Campbell, News 6.